should you write every day? I'm Jeremy Ellis, welcome to Ellis Island. I love a good story, and today's question is about whether or not, as a writer, you should be writing every day. This is a good question, and the answer is, it really depends. Depends on what kind of person you are, it depends on your personality, it depends on your discipline, and it depends on how you're most comfortable writing and what you think enables you to get the most work done. Generally speaking, the answer to this question is, you know, have a writing practice every day, don't wait for the muse. So. For the, anybody who's watching this and wondering about you know inspiration, let me just be clear on that front. Inspiration is overrated. Don't wait for inspiration because honestly, this is a job. You don't wait to be inspired to do you know a job like you know a garbage man, be an executive, be a doctor, or whatever else it is. None of those people have to be inspired to get up and do their work every day. And I'll, for me, I find if I don't write consistently every day, even if I don't actually get words down on paper, if I don't dedicate the time, if I don't make it a practice uh, every day, that I tend to fall off and I tend to fall off for long enough periods of time, weeks, maybe a couple weeks, let's say, where I don't really get any writing done, that it makes projects take longer than I would like. And I find that the longer something takes, there's a point in which it starts to sort of, I start to lose the thread a little bit. It starts to get a little bit, you know, kind of laborious. I'm overthinking about it. And I find that when I've stuck to a consistent writing schedule, I'm usually better at hitting my deadlines. Uh, than, I, than I am if I am sort of just writing willy-nilly. Uh, when you do actually sit down to write as a writer, whether it's every day or whether it's, you know, uh, on a slightly different uh, schedule, then you should be writing regardless of whether you feel the inspiration, whether or not you feel like, whether you feel like it. If, if that day is a writing day, you know, get your butt in the chair, get your fingers on the keyboard and get to work. Um, very often, your schedule, if you're somebody who still has a day job, determines whether or not you can write every day. But even if it's for a half an hour, even if it's for 20 minutes, if you can just you know find time at the same time every day to try to get your words down, uh, especially when you're starting out, you're gonna you know be much better off at developing your practice. Personally, I find that this is true for all things. Whenever I wait to be inspired, or if I try not to go work out every day, you know, inevitably two days off becomes three days or four days off, and and then getting back into the gym or getting back into working out is difficult. Well, it's even more difficult when it comes to getting back into a story. So my advice is you should try to write uh, at the same time. Um, if not every day, then at the same time on the days that you do write and on the days that you've designated as writing days, make sure you stick to them. Uh, try not to fall off of your own schedule and never wait for inspiration. Treat it like a job. I'm Jeremy Ellis. This is Ellis Island here to answer all of your questions. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button down below. I will see you in the next reel.